What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back with another video, man. This one's going to be about following the real Christ, the real Jesus, the real Yeshua, and also following, or verse following, the fake Jesus, the Antichrist, 666. It's very important for people to know in the book of Corinthians, I talked about this in a couple of videos this past month, that uh, Paul warns of another Jesus being preached. That other Jesus being preached today is in many churches. Many people are following this Jesus unawarely, which I'm going to go in. Uh, now, some people know. Some people know they're following the false Christ, but they want to fit in with the world. They want to fit in with their church. They don't want to stand out. They don't want to become set apart like God says to be because they're cowards. You know, they don't want to stand for anything because what, when it comes to following the real Christ, you're going to get persecuted. Okay, you're going to get people going to hate on you, cast stones on you all the things of above. So it's hard to follow the real Christ. It's really hard to do it. But following the fake one, the fake Christ is, is easy to follow. The world loves you. You don't have to go through any hardships or nothing like that. No trials and tribulations. It's just like a piece of cake. And the trials and tribulations you do face following the false Christ is because your, your lifestyle, living in the willful sin, you know, reaping what you sow. A lot of people deceive that to think that they're following the right, the, the, you know, the real Christ. But no, you know, when you go through trials and tribulations, yes, that could come with you following Christ, but also it could come with reaping what you sow. You know, when it comes to a lot of these religions in today, they tell people, oh, especially in Christianity, they'll tell people like, oh, you're forgiven. Just give your life to Jesus and, and that's it. You know, uh, which, yes, we're forgiven, but all the sins you commit, you have to, the consequences that come with it, this is what they don't teach you. These are even sins that I committed five years ago, 10 years ago. 20 years ago that I'm still reaping when I'm sowing the consequences of my actions. So it's very important to teach this so people don't fall into the snares that we fell into in our past, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go, let's go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, I'm using this mic because I've tried every mic. There's so there's like a loud background beep in the, in the building I'm at. Tried every mic, guys, so I have to hold this mic. But uh, yeah, anyway, stick with me. Let's go, let's go. So following the, the real Christ, the real Jesus, okay? The real Yeshua says the world will hate you okay and they will also unfollow you you know how many people in the comment section when i make the the harsh truth videos you know you know christ says that blessed is those who are not offended why did christ tell people blessed as a man or blessed are those who are not offended because christ was speaking a lot of truth he was going against the programming and when people have been falsely programmed the lies inherited in the public school system these churches your pastors etc cetera, etc cetera, you know, it, when you actually hear the real truth, it, 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 it triggers you. You know, the spirits get triggered. The strongholds get triggered. So that's why Christ said, blessed are those who are not offended, with, you know, who, you know, hears the truth. But so what's the opposite of bless is curse. So those who are offended, they're going to stay under those, those demonic strongholds, the demonic spirits, and keep them in bondage. So that's why Christ said, blessed is the person who is not offended, okay? So when you're following the real Jesus, the real Yeshua, okay, now I know his Hebrew name is uh, Yahshua and his, his Greek name is or his English name is Jesus. I just do it for teaching purposes. Don't don't come in the comment section. Oh, Mark, it's, it's Yahshua. I know. Calm down. All right. So the world will hate you and unfollow you. OK, your enemies will be in your own household. So, yes, that means your mom is going to be against you. Your dad is going to be against you. Now, you may have parents, brothers, sisters, uh, wife, husband, children that are all following truth together. That's a small percent. But for most people, it's, you know, they're, your, your parents, your sisters, your brothers, your family, your cousins, your aunties, your uncles are not following the real truth. So they're going to be against you, okay? They're going to hate you. You're going to feel some type of way because your spirit, the Holy Spirit, the root walk in you, it bothers their, their demons, okay? So the world will hate you. Even Christ says that. Know that they hated him first be, before they hated you. So that lets you know that you're on the right track because you're keeping God's commandments, you're, you're being obedient, you're, you have the Holy Spirit, you're hearkening to God's voice, so they're going to hate you for it. The demons, they work through people to hate on God's chosen people. That's how they did it back then, they did it today. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Ain't nothing new. Okay, so best believe the world is going to hate you. You have all these friends, everybody gets along with you. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. You know, if people are not unfollowing you be, or unsubscribing because the truth you're speaking, Red flag. If everybody just gets along with you, what you have to say, nobody nobody disagrees. There's not agents coming your way in the comment section or in real life, which I'm gonna talk about. Oh, I can't wait to talk about that in a bit. Then you gotta really question and you know who you're really following. Okay. So the scriptures are all gonna be all throughout the screen. I might I might I will I'll put Bible verses all throughout this video. I might leave a hundred Bible verses. Okay. Because it's very important that everything that I'm saying is backing up with the scriptures. Okay. Uh, so this is the sign that you're following the fake Jesus, the Antichrist. The other Jesus that Paul pre uh, preached about is being a religious fake, a religious phony, okay? Plain church, being lukewarm, 
knowing the truth, but choosing to stay in the lies. That's a lot of people. They know the truth, okay? And you might be saying, well, Mark, you know, what type of truth, okay? So they know about the pagan holidays. They know that Easter is not of God. They know that Christmas is not Jesus' birthday. It's Nimrod's birthday. Okay, Nimrod is, is the pyramid scheme of all these religions. That's where they all come from. But a lot of people don't even know that because they don't research. They don't study to show themselves approved. Okay, so they know about the pagan holidays. They know about Sunday worship and how the, truth, the, the true worship is a Sabbath day, which is on Saturday. Okay, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. But they refuse to follow that, okay, because they want to, you know, keep in the, the traditions of man. Not the commandments of God, but the traditions of man. You know, Christ even said that in Mark chapter 7. I believe it's Mark chapter 7. If I'm wrong, I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave verses all out throughout the screen. So make sure you guys look at the screen so you guys see the Bible verses, all right? Because I got a hand. I got to hold this. I got to hold the marker. I don't got three hands. So I'll leave all the verses all throughout the screen, okay? So people will hold on to the traditions of man more than the commandments of God. He called them hypocrites, phonies, fakes, okay? Christ was calling people snakes, vipers, children of hell. You know, Christ was, cha uh, Christ, the real Christ, he was chasing people with whips. When they were turning his, his, uh, his the, the church into a house of thieves, using it for money, we're seeing that today. But these are the people you guys support, you guys love and praise. This is, this is who you, and, but, and see, if Christ was here today, and he would be do, chasing people with whips, calling out the phonies, calling out the fakes, calling out the false prophets, the false teachers, right, uh, the phony, uh, the, the shepherds who are leading the sheep astray, they would tell him, well, geez, you're chasing people with whips? That's not very Jesus of you. This is, this is, it's like the effeminate, soft, weak, emotional generation we're living in. This is what people would do today, okay? So they know the truth. They know about the pagan holidays. They know about Sunday worship. They reject the true sa uh, sabbat, okay? They're not set apart, but religious. This is, what, this is how Satan deceives a lot of people, to be religious, but don't be set apart, to make you feel comfortable because you're going to church on Sundays, Okay, you may you read your Bible occasionally, but you're not practicing, you're not reading, you're not applying it to your life. The Bible makes it clear in James chapter one that the man who's a doer of the word, you know, uh, the, the, sorry, the man is to hear the word, but not a doer, you know, he, he deceives himself. And that's what a lot of people who are under Christianity, uh, not just Christianity, but people who believe in Christ in general, whatever, whatever you subscribe to, you know. Uh, so, and that's how I know all these religions is not of God because all confusion, you got all these dominations Right, all these, all confusion. Where in the Bible does it say to the uh, Catholic, uh, all, uh, Mormon, Jehovah Witness? It's just confusion. Okay, he wants you to be set apart. He doesn't care about what religion you subscribe to. He wants you to be set apart, okay, to follow him, be holy. All right, so the next, when you follow the real Jesus, and this is what, this video, guys, <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to align with what I'm about to say right now. Say, so they're going to try to make you look crazy, okay? They're going to test you. They're going to test and tempt you and attempt to destroy your faith. Everything I'm saying is going to back up with the scriptures, okay? So they're going to try to make you look crazy. I remember when I gave my li life to Christ for the first time in the beginning stages, I threw away a pound of wheat uh, tree, uh, algorithm friendly. <laughs> I threw away a pound of that. Uh, I gave up all my sins. And pe my own family, my own friends, they were saying that something was wrong with me. They tried to make me seem like I was crazy because I, I didn't want to live in sin no more. I didn't want to willfully sin no more. They tried to make me look like I was crazy. And what, was, what that was doing, it was attacking my faith. Am I doing the right thing? That's an attack of the enemy. So even the enemy uses those closest to you, the ones you love the most, to make you look like you're crazy or weird and all that. Okay? And also they're, they're going to te uh, test and tempt you. The Pharisees, the religious spirits, which we have many people in Christianity, and even people in the Hebrew community too, they have a religious spirit too. Remember the Hebrews? The so-called black people, they're the original Pharisees and scribes. We're seeing that, too, in these people in the street corners who tell people white people are the devil, white people, uh, you can't be saved if you're not black. Those are also, those are your modern-day Pharisees. Now, those are your original Pharisees because, like I said, the original Pharisees back in the, in the Israel days, they were black. Same thing we're seeing today. Okay, they're just hypocrites. It's all, the guys, nothing new under the sun. <laughs> Ain't nothing new. Now, of course, you can have the religious spirit no matter what color, what, what nation you are, you know? So let's make that very clear. But the Pharisees in the Bible, they were constantly testing Christ. They were cost, constantly trying to test him. This is what they're going to do to you, too. They want to see if you're real. And not only if they want to see if you're real, they just, want, they just trying to just test you and tempt you, try to break you, attempt to destroy you. Because that's what the devil comes to do, to steal, kill, and destroy. And what did Christ tell these Pharisees? What did he tell these religious spirits? You are your father, the devil. Okay, and the lust of the, that you'll do. All right, so that's what they're going to do. So when you're following the real Christ, they're going to make you, all the truth that you're speaking, they're going to make you seem like you're crazy. Throw them in a mental hospital. 
He needs to take medicines, all the mind games, all the manipulation, the witchcraft. That's the spells they're going to try to throw at you. This is a real spiritual battle. We're not battling against flesh and blood. When they did this to me in the beginning of my stages, I was kind of confused because I was like, well, dang, well, should, I, should I be doing, you know, should I go back to my old ways? But no. Christ says that don't look back. A man putting his hands to the plow and looking back, he ain't fit for the kingdom of God. So when God calls you and instructs you to do something, to leave your sins, leave this person, leave, leave that relationship, leave that friend. You don't even look back. Keep on moving forward. Let the dead bury the dead. All right? So next one up is everybody gets along with you because you're afraid to speak the truth. And, you know, what happens when you speak the truth? You know, you're going to lose friends. You're going to lose family. You're going to lose followers. Okay? So if everybody is getting along with you, that's a red flag. When everybody agrees with what you're saying. You know, every, everybody is like, you know, you have no backlash. Everybody loves you. That is a red flag, okay? Remember, your spirit, the Holy Spirit in you is supposed to bother, trigger people's demons. Now, I'm not to say that everybody who has demonic spirits in them is going to hate you, is going to attack you. No, some people, you know, they know, they're, they're unsubconsciously aware of that, and they're trying to fight it off, and they see that you're of the light, and they know that, you know, you can help them, or that, you know, you, you really have love for them. But some people, they don't even know they're being used by demons. They don't know they're, the strongholds are using them, they're keeping them in bondage, okay? So... A lot of people are afraid to speak truth because they don't want to lose. They're cowards. They don't want to lose friends, uh, followers, you know. They're cowards. Okay, they don't want to lose IG followers. They don't want to lose Facebook friends or TikTok or all that, all that nonsense, right? So they're afraid of that because they know that when you speak the truth, people are going to throw some type of way. The Most High is not dealing, especially if you're a man, the Most High is not dealing with a coward. He's not dealing with those who are afraid to stand up and be bold and speak truth. Who cares about your subscribers? Who cares about your followers? Because at the end of the day, if the message needs to be sent, God's going to make sure it's sent to the four corners of the earth. So don't be afraid to lose anything of this world. Because remember, this world is all just temporary anyways. All right, so next one up. When you truly follow the, the real Christ, people are going to make false claims about you, false accusations, slander your name, and lie. Try to make you the cause of all problems, okay? So the reason why they're going to slander and lie on your name is because when you're saving a lot of souls, when you're preaching the truth, when you're telling people to repent of their sins, to keep God's commandments, you're pretty much freeing people from bondage, freeing people, free people from the strongholds and demonic spirits. Satan's kingdom doesn't want that. Satan's kingdom wants as many people to belong in slavery to Satan. So what they're going to do is lie on your name, and the people who are simple-minded, the sheeple, they're going to believe it, even though they, all they could do is just test someone's spirit and they can see if someone's real or fake or someone's real or phony, they can't do that because they're simple-minded and they belong to Satan's kingdom. They're in darkness, so they, they aren't able to discern the truth. So this is, why, this is why they did that. Remember, Christ was always getting falsely accused. They called him a devil. They said that he had a devil. Okay, they, they lied on him. They lied on him, constantly accused him. So if they did that to him, what are they going to do to you? They're going to do the same thing, man. They're going to do the same thing. So please keep that in mind, man. They're going to try to make you the cause of all problems. As a chosen one, you have to understand this. Every time a problem arises, you're, it's your at fault. You know? and, then, and then when you try to come up with a solution, just more, to add on more problems, more problems, man. This happens so many times, man. My, my laptop's at 17%. Okay, whew, yes. I thought, it was at, I thought I said 11%. I got to make sure this, this is done within 20 minutes. But anyways, so this is what they're going to do, man. Make false claims about you. Yep. But best believe, I'll leave a scripture up because I'll leave scriptures all throughout the screen. Best believe, guys, when these people are doing that, the most high, yeah, he's going to make sure that, that uh, you know, he sees that you're blessed. He's going to see that, that you really belong to him. And whether they don't want to believe it still, they want to stay in that strong delusion, hey, then that's on them. You know, because many people are going to choose to stay in this strong delusion. They're going to choose to serve Satan because they, that's, that's their daddy. <laughs> Satan is their daddy. You know, just like the Bible makes it clear, the wheats and the tares, some people belong to God, some people belong to the devil. You know, it could even be your, your family, your friend. You know, it, it could even be as deep as, you know, the woman you're sleeping next to, the man you're sleeping with, the relationship you're in. Okay, this is, like I said, spiritual warfare. All right, next one up. Following the faith, Jesus, you're going to stay and become spiritually dead, carnal. You're going to have a carnal mind. Okay, no true growth. When you're following the faith, Christ, you're going to be going to church. I know so many people like this, guys. I know so many people like this. They go to church for years, and they're still the same person. No growth. No spiritual growth, no, no wisdom, no knowledge. I mean, still going in 2024, still going to a church? Why don't you read the word for yourself? Why are you relying on a pastor? Church is for, some, is for people who are in the beginning stages of their walk, 
You learn, and then once, it's just like that in school. After, you, after you're in school for a couple years, eventually you grow. You don't, need them no, you don't need the pastor no more. Now you have a family. Now you have a wife, or now you have a husband, and maybe you have children. Now you all have Bible study. Not to say that you can't li- listen to a pastor. Not to say that you can't learn from other people. But at the end of the day, if you're still relying 100% on the church, that's a huge, that's a red flag, man. That's a red flag. Okay, so please understand that, man. Don't be mad at me. Because I know people are going to be mad at this. I understand. I, under- I understand. Remember, the Bible says that God doesn't dwell with temples made with hands. So the body, the church, is, is this video, you're, you're attending church right now. So it's not just a church building on the Sunday, the worship, the pagan worship. It's not, it should be on the Sabbath day. But anyways, it's spiritually dead, carnal. So many church people I know, guys, that's it. They've been going to church all their life, all their life, and there's still just no growth. You don't, you don't see any growth in them, just religious, carnal, you know, they're still unable to see. And I encourage you guys, man, you really have to be all 100% about this walk, man. Fire it up. Holy Spirit, give up everything to follow him. I'm telling you, man, once you do that, you're going to level up. I'm going to talk about the level up towards the end of the video. God's going to take you places. You're going to have so much spiritual wisdom, insight, knowledge. No one will be able to deceive you no more. No wolf in sheep clothing, no deceiver, no devil, no demon will ever be able to deceive you no more because you have true wisdom true uh, spirituality, which is through the Holy Spirit, not the new age nonsense, okay? So this is, this is what's going to happen. But a lot of people, they're just relying on the church, putting their hands up on Sunday, all that nonsense, man. There's still no growth, man. I'm telling you guys, I know so many people, bro, it's sad. It truly is, all right? But that's what happens when we follow the fake Jesus. There's no growth. That's what happens, okay? Uh, and I know, I understand people are going to get mad at the messenger. Yeah, they always get mad at the messenger, they always, 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 but hey, God just uses my vessel to speak truth. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. All right, next one up is for, for those who follow the real Christ, all right, is set apart. You can no longer be a part of organized religion, just like what I was saying. One thing that I noticed when God was calling me to be a chosen one, when God's called me out of the world, he was calling me out of religion, all the, all the worldly stuff, right? I noticed that those church people I was at church with, they had a problem with me. The minute God called me, the minute I started to see the world for what it is, those church people in organized religion, they had a problem with me. Not a coincidence. Religious spirits always going to have a problem with those who are set apart. Always. Nothing new under the sun. Okay, you know Paul, right? Man, Paul was on fire for Christ, man. I, I strive to be like Paul. Of course, I strive to be like Christ. But Paul was, a, man, the, his, the, almost the whole New Testament was written by Paul. So Paul, the Pharisees, the religious spirits, when uh, the, the Pharisees, they went on a fast. They fasted to God to kill him, okay? They fasted, for, uh, they, they fasted you know, the whole Pharisees, the whole congregation, uh, they fasted against Paul until he died. They, what God were they fasting to? They weren't fasting to the Most High. They were fasting to the devil to kill him, okay? So, and this is what happens. This is what happens, bro. This is what happens. The organized religion they're going to have a problem when you're set apart. They're going to try to, you know, maybe try to kill you, take you out spiritually, maybe physically. They were fasting, guys. They believed that they were fasting to God in order to kill Paul. Paul was being used to preach to not only to the Israelites, but also to the Gentiles, the people of the other nations. They had a problem with that. Unbelievable. But like I said, they belonged to Satan. They were children of the devil, so they were doing Satan's will, and Paul was doing God's will, and no weapon formed will prosper, so Paul was protected. All right, next one up is people who follow the fake Jesus, they're still in love with the world, and they want to fit in. A lot of people are like this who follow the fake Jesus, usually those, most of them in Christianity, not all, but most, okay, still in love with the world. They want to fit in. They desire to fit in with their friends and family. They're not trying to stand out and be set apart because, like I said, guys, that comes with persecution. That comes with people hating on you, and, you know, maybe you feeling lonely because no one wants to be friends with someone who's, you know, for the most part, the world doesn't want to be friends with someone who is, you know, walking in truth. Because the Bible says that friends of the world is the enemy against God. Okay? And, and people know this unsubconsciously or even subconsciously. But, like I said, they don't want to go through the battles, man. They'd rather be lukewarm. They'd rather play both sides. Let's be on fire for God one day, and the next day let's be cold. God says that he makes it very clear that he's going to spit you out for being lukewarm. I wouldn't want to take that route or go that path. I would rather stand with God because I know, and we should all know the rewards that come with it. God will bless you. He will bless you financially, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Uh, maybe y'all, you desire, whatever you desire, delight yourself in the Lord, and he'll give you desires of your heart, whether it's a family, children, wife, husband, et cetera, et cetera. You have to go follow God, though. You can't be playing both sides. 
You can't drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of the devils. A lot of people, they want to drink both. Can't do that. Okay, so uh, next one up is when you follow the real Christ, you're going to bear much fruit through Christ only. Okay, only through Christ are you able to bear much fruit. Okay, so you got to submit to him. Remember, Christ is our head. So we submit to him as Christ submits to the most high and then the woman submits to the man. And it's simple. It could all be so simple, but people, they rather rebel. They rather have the spirit of rebellion in them. They rather be operating under witchcraft. And, you know, that's where all problems are to arise. So through Christ, it's the only way you're going to bear much fruit. Okay? Uh, he's our Lord and Savior. And without, without him, we're nothing. We can do nothing without him. So that's what happens when we follow the real Christ. You bear much fruit. Okay? And the next one, for those who follow the fake Jesus, okay, Satan leaves you alone. Ooh! Man, man, man. <laughs> Woo! All right, all right. Satan leaves you alone. The devil doesn't attack those who are no threat. Satan doesn't attack those who are no threat to his kingdom. He actually leaves them alone. He, Satan will leave you alone. If you're no threat, you're out here you know, living for the world, living in willful sin, the devil don't, don't care about you, man. You're no threat to him. Okay, but the minute you start to actually follow the Bible and follow the truth and follow Yeshua, that's when Satan says his agents your way. That's when the false accusations come, the liars, the slanders, etc., etc. So please keep that in mind. If Satan leaves you alone, if you ain't getting attacked by the devil, now make, let me make this very clear. It's not always the devil who attacks. Sometimes it's reaping what is sown. Sometimes it's, you know, living in a willful sin. You reap what you sow. That ain't the devil. That ain't the devil. You're out here committing adultery. You're out here getting, uh, getting drunk. You're out here sleeping around. And you're getting attacked. That's not, that's not the devil, guys. That's you reaping what you sow. You know, and now if that is you, you know, we all fall short. So we got to repent of our sins. But you can't always blame the devil, okay? When Because like I said, guys, reaping what is sowed. You got to be accountable, okay? And this is why it's good to have brothers and sisters like-minded to fellowship with people so they can hold you guys, you know, the brother holds, you know, everybody's holding this other accountable. Not to say that's required. You know, you should be able to hold yourself accountable. The Bible says that the spiritual man judges all things, but he himself is judging no man because the spiritual man judges himself. He doesn't need anybody else to judge him. He, when he falls short, when he sins or whatever, he already, he's already alerted, and he repents and gets right. Okay, the spiritual man. All right? So next one up for this one is when you follow the real Christ, you're going to hate the world because Yah has opened your eyes to the matrix deception. Okay? You have now have the Holy Spirit. You are now filled with wisdom and knowledge. Okay, and remember, the Bible says the more wisdom, the more grief, and the more knowledge, the more sorrow. So you just start to hate this world, bro. You start to see the world for what it is, and it, and it bothers you because all the peers around you, they're unable to see. It's like you're the only one who can really see. Not to say you're going to be the only one. You may have, like, a brother who lives on the other side of the country or a sister who lives on the other side of the country who y'all talk to, y'all met on Instagram, y'all met on YouTube or Twitter or whatever, right? But for the most part, people just can't see what you're seeing, and it's frustrating, and it just brings more grief because you're the only one who sees the world for what it is. We understand that the devil is out here, and he's destroying, he's destroying families, he's destroying friendships, families, uh, relationships, marriage, all that, right? And we want to tell people the truth. we got to submit. The man has to submit to, to Christ. The woman has to submit to her man. And the, the children have to submit to, you know, uh, you know, to the family, you know. But people, they don't want to follow that. So we want to tell people the truth, but people just don't want to hearken to it. They'd rather stay in darkness. They'd rather stay in lies. Okay, so it, it just kind of brings frustration. And there's many other problems, too, and all that. But, yeah. All right, so, yeah. So you're going to hate the world because, you know, the Most High has opened your eyes to the matrix, the Satan's kingdom, and the de deception of the world we're in. The Bible says that Satan is the God of this world. And it makes us pissed off because it's like there's nothing we could do to really change the world. The only thing we could really do is plant seeds in people and hope and pray that that seed grows into a tree, grows into a big old tree so they could start winning souls for the kingdom too. And uh, so next one up is for those who follow the fake Jesus is picking and choosing which verses to follow, okay, which fit your sinful lifestyle, okay? A lot of people like to pick and choose what verses to follow. Oh, I'm not following the Old Testament, even though the, the Old Testament is just precepts um, for most of the New Testament. You know, they pick and choose what verses to follow. Whatever fits their sinful lifestyle, they'll follow it. You know, if, if there's a verse that goes against their lifestyle, oh, I'm not going to follow that. If there's a verse that says God loves, uh, uh, God so loved the world, John 3, 16, they'll follow that. They'll accept that. So it's just like the double-minded. The Bible makes it clear. Double-minded person is unstable in all his ways. And that's those who pick and choose which verses to follow, all to fit their sinful lifestyle, okay? 
Next one up is Satan is always attacking you, okay? When you're following the true Messiah, when you're saving souls, when you're doing the, w the will of God, okay, you got to understand when you're keeping God's commandments, the Bible makes it clear that those who keep the commandments, Satan rages war against them, okay? So Satan's going to send agents your way, whether it's in the form of a relationship, whether it's in front of a friendship, whatever the case may be. And that's just to distract you, to get you to go backwards in life. So you got to put on the full armor of God to fight against and also, you know, use discernment to who's coming your way. Test people's spirits and you know a tree by their fruits, okay? So Satan's going to send agents constantly your way, bro, when you're vulnerable, when you're weak. That's and says, and the devil knows when you're weak. He knew when Christ was fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he knew to, uh, Christ is fasting. You know, when you're fasting, you're weak. You know, you, you know, you want to, you're tempted to eat and all that. The devil knew that. So what did he do? Came, came to Christ. I, I'll, I'll give you all the kingdoms. Bow down and worship me. He knew when Christ was weak. Okay? So the devil knows when you're weak too. And that's when he sends the agent to. So be aware. You know, pay attention. Okay? Be sober. Be vigilant. Because the en enemy uh, seeks for someone to devour. All right? Next one up is for those who follow the fake Christ is they believe that they don't have to keep the commandments no more. Okay? They can live a lawless life. That's the reason why this world is turning into hell. Because of this lawlessness. It's nothing but lawlessness in this world. They believe that they can live however they want, and they're covered under grace. And yes, I understand, we're not saved by our works. But if you truly believe you can live a lawless life, a sinful lifestyle without repentance, and you think that you're going to make it to the kingdom just because of faith, faith alone, I, that's scary, man. Because I don't want to hear Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23, it says, depart from me, I never knew. Because when you know Christ, you don't desire to live in sin no more. You don't desire to be lukewarm and, and play uh, be double-minded and live both sides. You don't desire that no more when you truly know him. That's why he's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. Those who play both sides, those who are lukewarm, those who are disobedient, the wrath of God abides upon all the children of disobedience. Okay, so next one up is the people who follow the fake Christ is no discernment. They rely on a pastor to feed them laziness and slothfulness. There's nothing wrong with relying on or there's nothing wrong with, you know, listening to a pastor to feed you. But if you're solely relying on them to feed you and you don't read your Bible for yourself, you don't open the book for yourself, okay, you're not seeking the most high for yourself and you're just solely relying on somebody, even me, if any, any of my subscribers are doing that, please don't do that, okay? Matter of fact, if, if, if you, are, you find yourself doing that, t the, turn off your phone for a week and get into your Bible. Turn off your phone, all that, and get into your Bible. Study to show yourself approved, okay? I'm just a messenger. I'm not no, nobody to be worshiped and praised. I'm literally just here because God has called me out of the billions of people on this earth. He saw something in me that I didn't see myself, and I'm out here to preach the truth, okay? So please understand that I'm just a vessel. Don't rely on nobody but you and Christ alone. Read your Bible for yourself, okay? And when you're watching people on YouTube or your pastors, make sure you're testing people's spirits, make sure, making sure that they're convicting you with truth, they're not just tickling your ears, telling you everything they want to hear so you can fill their pockets up. Because that's what a lot of these people are doing today. They're turning it to a business. All right? So for those who follow the real Christ, okay, you will constantly be persecuted. Yes. Okay? The Bible says that those who live go uh, godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So you're going to be constantly persecuted. The disciples, they were thrown in jail constantly. Peter, Paul, they, they were all thrown in jail. Uh, Christ, thrown in jail. So what do you think they're going to do to you? You're going to have to, you know, God forbid that happens to you, but that might happen to you, man. You might find yourself homeless or whatever the case may be. Your family turns against you, so expect that. That's what happens when we follow the real Christ. Remember, endear, endear that because God has a blessing for you at the end of the road. Promise you that. All right? So the people who follow the fake, the fake Jesus is following, follow, people who follow the fake Jesus is a blind leading the blind. Okay? And also, believe in G people who believe Jesus is an olive skin color, Middle Eastern, a feminine white man with long hair, okay? Olive is a green color. Name one person on this earth who is olive skin. None. People just refuse to, to believe that Christ is black because that's the people they hate on. They don't like black people, so they refuse to believe that the, the, the person they're worshiping was a black man, okay? People have a hard time believing that and accepting that, but that's the truth. You even had Putin, the Russian president, he even let his whole, his whole nation know. That's one of the biggest nations. Let him know that the disciples in Christ were black. No one had an issue with P Putin saying that. But when I say it, Mark, you're racist. Blah, 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 blah. All lies. Just speaking truth. How come when Putin says it, y'all don't have an issue with Putin saying it? But when, when I say it, now y'all have an issue with it. Come on, bro. Be real. Be real. All right? So next one up is when you're following the real Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? Y'all levels you up because you are obedient. You have a pure heart. 
You're doing the will of God. You're planting seeds and you're faithful. Okay, you're helping out the poor and needy. You're plant, you're, you're, even though the days where you don't want to work, when you don't want to do the uh, labor, you're still doing it. So God levels you up. He's constantly leveling you up. And all your haters, all your ops, all your enemies, they're going to see it. They're going to see it. The most high is going to make sure they see it. Because that's what happens when you're obedient. That's what happens when you truly love God. Man. That's what happens when you have a pure heart, when you're humble, when you're meek. The most high levels you up. And those who are arrogant, self-righteous, prideful, they stay down there. Okay? God gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. He resists the prideful people. A lot of people with the religious spirit, they're prideful, arrogant. All right? So that's what happens when you follow the real Christ. All right? When you follow the fake Christ, okay? So you believe everything you hear. You're simple-minded, unable to test people's spirits, and you're a slave to Satan's kingdom. Okay? Also, you're unable to discern false prophets and false teachers, and you're led astray by witches and warlocks, and get upset when the truth is, comes out. Okay? So there's a lot of witches and warlocks in these churches when brothers and sisters call it out. Because I see a lot of sisters calling it out, too. It's unfortunate that there's more sisters. And there's nothing wrong with that. But there's more women who are calling out the phonies and the fake. And I see a lot of men. Because a lot of these men today are effeminate. They're weak. They're soft. Okay, that's just the truth. Okay, that's what religion does. Religion makes people soft and weak, especially in Christianity. Okay, so people have an issue when, when witches and warlocks are getting exposed Okay, and these false prophets and false teachers and people who follow the fake Jesus, they, they protect them because Satan's kingdom protects his own. Satan protects his own. So best believe, guys, test people's spirits. Now, you shouldn't rely on no one to tell you who's real and fake. You should know by yourself. You should be able to test someone's spirit. You should be able to know a true by his first. You shouldn't have to rely on someone. Okay, now, but if a brother does come out and bring the facts, bring the evidence, and you have an issue with that, you follow the fake Christ. That lets me know. Remember, Paul said there's going to be another Jesus being preached. We're seeing that today in these end times. Okay? And those who follow the real Yeshua, okay, they honor Yah's commandments. Okay? Have love for all nations. What, no matter what skin color you are, no matter what nation you're coming from, you have all love for all people. Okay? And remember, the Bible makes it clear that he who says, I know him, but keep not his commandments is a liar and the truth ain't in him. So I hope you guys got blessed and edified from this message. This video is following the real Jesus, Yahweh Shah, or following the fake Jesus, the Antichrist, the other Jesus that's being preached. Those people who are following the fake Jesus, they're under the strong delusion, okay? Those people who are following the real Jesus, they're on the straight and narrow path to eternal life to receive salvation. Woo! Woo, 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 woo! I'm almost losing my breath speaking, guys, but, man, I'm losing my voice. I love you guys so much. If you guys made this far, y'all know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below, share this video, share it on all social media platforms. Uh, let me know if you guys, uh, if there's anything that I should have added or anything that, you know, added, added, to your, added to the commentary. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace. Shalom.